this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Super Mario Maker. And oh, look! Look! Oh! Super Mario Maker! Oh, look! You can do things! What's that? <laughs> Was that bird mocking me? Wait a second. Oh, wait, wrong one, wrong one. Hello? about this until I did it. Um, no, let's do my intro. Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Mario Maker video. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna say it? Oh, oh no, no. <laughs> he's repeating me now. <laughs> right, I guess I just tap it, and then when the bird comes down, it does it. Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Mario Maker video. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is amazing. What else can happen? Oh, the M makes things drop. Okay. The A, the A. Oh, the A's going to launch. There it goes. Woo! Then the K. Does the K do anything? Oh, it makes it all old timey and stuff. Anyway, I could spend all day on the menu, but uh, I'm not. I'm going to actually go and play the game. <laughs> How about that? And uh, yeah, I'm going to. Um, oh, what's this? You can now adjust the timer and auto scroll settings. More? Oh, no, I don't, no, I don't want more info. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to do this. No, I'm sorry. I'm just really not interested. Okay, well, let's just go and get through. Anyway, okay, while this is going on, I might as well explain. So, uh, I have now unlocked uh, the ability for the, the game to look like Mario 3. And I've never actually uh, played Mario 3 uh, in my life. And uh, what's, what you t what, what's going on now? Oh, just, oh, just let me play. Please, just let me, let me just play. No, let me... Let me leave this and let me just play. Am I playing now? Um, <laughs> how can I? Here we go. Close, close. There we go. Right, back to building. Yeah. So I can now uh, play as a, yeah, play in the style of Mario 3, uh, which is what this uh, is now. And I've also uh, got a bunch of new items. And oh, I've got even more new ones since the last time I looked at it as well. So this is going to be cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be once again uh, building a map for Squishy, uh, but this time in this style. So uh, I can change where I am. Uh, there's the castle I unlocked, and that was cool. Uh, but I also unlocked this one, the uh, the airship. Uh, so yeah, let's go and try and uh, build in a, in this style so I think for uh, for this level uh, what I'm gonna do is try and make a um, a, a really fast paced level I want it to be uh, really quick uh, so squishing kind of just charge the uh, the whole way through it and uh, not have to, to really worry about anything so uh, let's try and make it really streamlined so what I'm gonna do this time is I'm gonna keep testing it and uh, so then that way I can tell if it's good so for example this jump here you could go like boing 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 but if you're really good you could just go whoa all the way up to the other uh, top and uh, do it really quickly so that's what the uh, the aim for this level is going to, to be and I also just want to play around with some of the uh, the new features so uh, she can jump up to, to there um, what's this I think this is yeah this is like a, quite a cool platform you can add in then you can go and stretch it and uh, make it bigger like this I think it just looks cool it just looks a little bit different to the the other thing so let's go and uh, throw that in there shall we and uh, then at the end I might add a uh, I might add a spring in so she can go and uh, bounce off the uh, the spring and uh, go flying up there so where's the uh, the spring as I said I've never played um uh, Mario 3 which is a bit strange uh, so I don't know too much about it I'm also going to add a um uh, a little chest here, which I can go and have the... Uh, not a chest, sorry, I got Minecraft on the brain. <laughs> a little uh, uh, question mark cube uh, mystery box. I'm not sure what they're called, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add one in, uh, of them uh, with the uh, the mushroom in. And I might add some blocks uh, around it as well and uh, just put some coins in. I might just go crazy with the, the coins. What I could do is just put coins, like, absolutely everywhere. If I kind of do this, I can go just crazy with the uh, the coins and just sort of spread them out everywhere. Just so as she's charging through it... Uh, She's going to be getting coins everywhere. I think I might do that. I think that would be quite cool. So let's go and try and grab these coins like that. And then I can copy them like this. And uh, then I can just go and really easily just go and spread them uh, all over the place. So I can go and put uh, a bunch of them on here like this. And just go and sort of spread them absolutely everywhere. And so then that way as she's charging through the, the map, she's just going to be getting coins everywhere she goes. And the coins uh, don't really matter. Like I don't think it's really going to help her. Like the scores don't matter. Uh, but it's just 
cool. It would just be cool just as she's going around uh, just to be getting absolutely loads of coins. Let's go and see uh, what this is like. There we go. This is just kind of more fun already just with the coins going everywhere. Then she'll go and get this, which she can grab and then go and keep going. Actually, no, I want her to not stop running. So what I might do is uh, do it so that um, hmm, I kind of want her to bounce the... Um, the mystery box back here somewhere and then that way she kind of needs, uh, needs to race to grab it so that way she's not waiting for it. So let's go to these. I'm changing my mind again and uh, let's go and add this down here and put this uh, a little bit higher. Uh, she should still be able to easily reach that. Yep, no problem. Uh, and then I'm going to do a, uh, a platform. Actually, if I do a, a bouncy pad uh, about here, I could make it so it just bounces along. So let me see. Uh, actually, I need to have the, the bouncy pad uh, actually on a, uh, a block. Uh, so let me go and add in a... Ooh, that's cool. I like the look of this. Uh, so let's go and add uh, this in... Uh, this needs to be a little bit lower. So let's go and move uh, all of this down. Oh, I'm making a right mess here, aren't I? <laughs> let's, yeah, move that uh, along here like this, kind of. And then move this down here. And then I also need to get rid of that uh, so she can actually reach it. And can she reach the thing? Almost so close, so close. Okay, she just about can't reach the uh, the question box. Uh, this is okay. If I move, if I just move it all back down a little bit, if I move this down to here... And then I need to move this entire thing down uh, so I can just grab it like the, this and then move the entire thing down to, to here. And then this should be okay. Uh, let's see if this works because it should kind of bounce out like that anyway. And then yeah, it bounces uh, along like that. And so I might try and make it so as it lands, it's just going to bounce on another one. I think it was about here did the other one land. Uh, boing, boing like that. <laughs> and so then that way she's going to be racing after it. But of course, uh, she's not going to be able to make that jump there. Or actually, I could... Actually, no, I don't want to get rid of this because I don't want her to be able to, to get it early. I might make this actually go a little bit higher. And then I can kind of move this all around, if that makes sense. And uh, I do want to do this quite quick because, uh, uh, yeah, once uh, I've finished uh, building this level, I'm going to play her one. So let's see how this goes. It goes boing boing and boing right that is absolutely perfect so now i just need uh, to make it away oh what's this the super mario world game style Ooh, and go set will be available soon that will be cool i absolutely love super mario world uh, so i'm definitely looking forward uh, to that theme but yeah now let's carry on with this one first so let's go and try and add out some of these new things so uh, what is this um Okay, this just seems to be another little platform I can add down here and I can go and stretch this out. So maybe I, uh, I could make it so you kind of have to go um, under it and then back round. So if I stretch, um, no, I don't want to do that. I want to move you up like that. And uh, so I can go and head down here and uh, I can then go and uh, I need to have some way of making my way up. Oh, look. Oh, it's rising. The, the screen's like rising up and down. That's quite cool. Kind of cuts me off a little bit, but that's all right. And then what does this do? I think this is a cannon. And I think it's meant to launch enemies, but I wonder if you can launch yourself in it. Oh, oh no. It looks like it's launching uh, these balls up. Right, I could actually try. If I turn it round, actually, if I do it like this, I might be able to use it to jump in order to, to get up, maybe. Uh... If I do that, and then there we go, I can jump up. And let me just make sure that I can't jump up anyway, because that, that kind of ruins the trick. Okay, I can actually just jump up without it. <laughs> if I make this uh, all slightly uh, higher, uh, then that way uh, I can do it so I wouldn't be able to, to jump up otherwise. So uh, I don't need uh, all of these coins anymore, so I'm going to very carefully get rid of them. I actually kind of don't need them all around here either. But I want to add something else down here. What I might do is just actually add a, a pipe, which is kind of non stop launching coins out uh, just because I think that would be really cool so if I go like this and uh, I can move this across here like this then if I put a coin into the pipe you can see that it's just going to go absolutely crazy and start firing coins any minute now there we go there come all the coins <laughs> right now I need to go here and I need to try and jump and time it and go boing absolutely perfect right but the whole time I'm going to be needing to to race the um uh, the thing I've kind of given up with my idea of having her non-stop running to be honest but <laughs> I'm still having fun none the uh nonetheless right so this is going to be bouncing its way to to here I could kind of make the whole level just chasing for that one mushroom that could be quite funny so it goes like this and I'm going to be going down here and it's going to bounce like that and then it's oh it doesn't quite 
uh, land on that other one. I think that... Oh, it fell down. It wasn't on a block, that one. That's why. Um, okay, so let's go and uh, uh, put it on... Um, I'll put it on one of these blocks like this. And then I can go and grab that up there. And uh, let's give this a, a test and uh, see where the, uh, the mushroom uh, ends up going. So it's going to go boing, boing, boing. And then, oh, it doesn't uh, quite land on that next one. Let's move it one across and uh, give this uh, a tester. It's so good that you can just instantly switch uh, between playing and testing it like this. And uh, there we go. It went and bounced up again, so it's going to end up somewhere around here. So what I might do is kind of trap it and then make it so there's a, a challenge uh, for you to be able to get it. So it should uh, end up trapped uh, in here and be going back and forth. Uh, but then I guess I could maybe put some guards around here as well uh, to make it more difficult uh, for her to, to get up to it. So uh, yeah, what what new can we have? What's uh, what's this guy? What was it? What was he called? Um, I didn't actually see the name, but let's put this guy down and uh, and see what he does. Um, Oh, okay. He looks a little bit sneaky. Oh, it's these guys. I know these guys. <laughs> right, they're not too hard to, to get rid of. I quite like them. Uh, let's go and uh, put these guys down on here. Uh, so they will go and hide and kind of guard uh, where the uh, the mushroom's going to, to end up. And then we can try and uh, make a way for, for her to get up there. So there's also these things uh, that kind of launch out fire. Uh, they're quite cool. So uh, you can kind of change the direction, I guess. Aha! Yeah, you can change the other uh, direction. Uh, that they point in. Let's go and uh, add some of these in here uh, just to make it so she has to get down quite carefully like that. I might move this uh, along a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I don't want it to be hard. I want it just to... What you want it to do is you want it to seem difficult enough so that they're happy when they complete it, but you don't want it too hard that they just keep failing and then get really frustrated. So I think kind of how this is so far is all right. Uh, now I just need a, a way uh, for Squishy to be able uh, to get up to the, the top here. I guess if she came round this way, she yeah, there we go. She can jump up uh, like this and then try and get to the uh, the mushroom uh, that will be in there. Right, uh, let's go and give this uh, a little bit of a, a test to go. I know it's uh, uh, quite a, a small level so far, and I've spent a lot of time on it, uh, but hopefully it's, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good fun to play. So the, the mushroom's going to start heading that way. I can go and grab all of these coins. I then need to jump, and then, oh, no, that was too slow. Look, the mushroom landed perfectly where I wanted it to. And so now I need to go and try and bounce my, whoop, you need to be careful of those, bounce. And then bounce again, and there we go. I got the uh, I got the mushroom, and then I can go and kill these guys. And then yeah, I would then now uh, be able to go back down here and uh, carry on uh, along with the the rest of the the level. Right, uh, let's get a, a move on then, shall we? Uh, what I want to do is uh, add some of these things in. So I don't really like the look of them, like the kind of horrible looking skeletons, but <laughs> uh, they're pretty cool though, uh, because basically whenever you land on them, uh, they basically just start moving along like this. Uh, so then I can go and add in a, a bunch of obstacles. Uh, that she needs to avoid uh, while it's moving along. So I'm going to try as much as I can uh, to use these new things. Oh, are these the ones that make uh, songs as you go along them? Oh, oh no, do they destroy? Oh, they, they fall down eventually. Okay, right. I've got an idea here then. So what I might do is make an obstacle here uh, so that she needs to jump up onto those blocks and then run along and then jump back down onto this moving platform, but really quickly. Um, right, I might go then and uh, add in. So if I had a platform in here, I might add in a few more of those fiery things uh, so that she then uh, needs to go and uh, jump up again. So uh, I did a, a rubbish job of that there. Uh, you can actually just go and very quickly erase things. Uh, there's a few shortcuts for like copying items and things, which is uh, uh, quite handy to, to build quicker. So let's go and uh, add uh, some of these in. Uh, so yeah, if I go and add all of these in, oh, look at Mario sweating because he gets scared because <laughs> I'm building these fiery things really close to him. Uh, so yeah, what I'd have to do then is uh, jump up and land on some of these platforms, uh, which will be uh, about here. And then, yeah, if I do these along like this, and then on the other side, I'm going to have to go and jump back down on top of it. But I can't stay on these for long. And there we go. <laughs> I was able to land back down. Oh, no, the fire doesn't stay on, though. Right, just to, to make sure. Uh, let's go and add some spikes in as well, just to make sure that <laughs> she's not going to go and land down there. So, yeah, I'd come on here, and then I'd wait to the last minute, and I'd run along here like this, and then I'd jump back down and uh, get to the, the other side like this. But these uh, start to, to fall. And, oh, 
It looks like I'm getting quite close to what would be the uh, the end of the, the level uh, as well. But uh, yeah, I can stretch it out and uh, make it further. So uh, what else can I add in? There's these little bomb things. And then there's this as well. This is a, a cloud. I think this might be uh, what I can jump in uh, to go and fly around. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just something that you can stand on. Okay, let's go and build out of some of these clouds then. So uh, this would be carrying on moving to, to about here. Uh, so let's go and uh, add in some of these clouds. I might go and uh, make a, a happy face of uh, of clouds that she can uh, go and uh, go and jump in. So I'm stretching up the uh, the level a little bit further uh, so I can keep going. And uh, here can be my happy clouds if I go like this and like this. I might make it a little bit bigger so it fits in nice. So there we go. <laughs> here are my happy clouds. So uh, let's go and uh, test this out and uh, make sure this uh, actually works. Uh, the worst thing to do is to build the entire map and then go to try and test it and then realize none of it actually works. <laughs> so uh, this will come to here. I can then go and jump up onto my happy clouds. And there we go. How perfect did that work? And I can actually jump up further here. But I don't really want uh, to add anything up there. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, yeah, carry on building the, the level. So is, I think I've used almost everything new. There's the power block as well. I'm not sure uh, what this does. Um, I think you can use it to kind of change items and things. And oh, there we go. Oh, I think it can be used to destroy a bunch of enemies, maybe. Let me go and uh, test it out uh, just to make sure. Let me go and uh, grab some of... Uh, I'll do some of these because I can put them on here and then they uh, they won't fall down on me. Uh, so let me go and uh, use the uh, the power. I think I need to, to press... There we go. I can throw it. Oh, I think I threw it too far though. Let me go and uh, try that uh, again. Let me get the, uh, the power block back. And oh, nope. Once again, I didn't throw it very well. Let's try and uh, add a, a wall in uh, so I can throw it against the other uh, wall. And oh, <laughs> once again, threw it the, uh, the wrong way. I keep expecting to pick it up, but he kind of immediately throws it. There we go. Yeah, you can see uh, that it goes and uh, destroys the uh, the enemies. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a room full of a bunch of enemies. And then uh, Squishy can just throw that and it's going to immediately destroy them all. And uh, I'm going to make the, the room smaller just so it fits in perfectly. And uh, let's go and build the, the side up here. And what I can do now is just stack uh, more enemies on top so uh, let's go and grab some of uh, these things and uh, we can put some of these along here like that so they're on their heads <laughs> and let's just make a weird stack of all of these different things and I think uh, maybe some Koopa Troopers on the top oh no look the Koopa Troopers actually destroy them or did I just destroy them by accident then uh, let's go and uh, add those back in and uh, hopefully they're gonna stay in place there we go we have our little stacks and so what I want to do now is I'll make it so that uh, where she needs to go is down here. So I'll break a little hole and hopefully uh, the, um, the, uh, the Goombas won't fit through there. Uh, so she has uh, to take them out in order to, to get past. But if I kind of do a roof like this as well... And then I'll do a wall on the, the other side. I'll maybe use this uh, just to make it look a little bit different. And then I can add the uh, the power block. And uh, then I can see if she can work out what she needs to do. So do they stay in place? Oh, look. Oh, no. The Goombas wander off. <laughs> That's not very good. Right. I need to, to make a way uh, to try and block them in. I guess if I just do this. I want to make sure that I can actually fit through it myself, though. And oh. Oh, look at that. It just went flying. I guess it doesn't hit into these. Uh, let's try and do... Uh, let's just do a, a wall up like this then. And uh, let's see uh, if this works. If she goes and throws it. There we go. Oh, it didn't take them all out though. It only took out the big ones. Okay, I don't know. This is going to be a little bit too dangerous then. Um, let's try and... Uh, uh, tell you what, let's give her a, a fire flower as well. So let's give, give her that and a fire flower and then that way it should be fine for her to, to be able to, to get past and uh, now I think the level uh, is going to be pretty much done so let's move the uh, the final part along uh, so she can get to here and get a random reward and I think that will make it the, the end of the, the level so the final thing uh, that I want to do is just to go absolutely coin crazy you know my idea of adding coins everywhere yeah I'm going to go a little bit mad now and oh I didn't mean to do that <laughs> going to go a little bit mad now and uh, just add in uh, coins uh, everywhere I can. So we're at uh, a whole load of coins around here. Uh, we'll do a, a bunch along here as well. And uh, we can do some around this area here where the, the mushroom's going to, to go. Uh, I'm going to add uh, some uh, along the, the top here like this. Uh, yeah, just going to go absolutely crazy with these coins. Uh, just so she's going to be pretty much getting coins. And then I can go a little bit coin crazy down here as well. And uh, fill all of uh, these in. And uh, yeah, let's go and add uh, another pipe in as well. Which is going to be firing the, uh, the coins out. Because uh, these are, are pretty cool as well. Let's go and shove the, uh, the coin in there. 
And uh, yeah, I think this will uh, just about uh, be the, the level complete. So all I want to do now is I want to test it and uh, make sure that it is actually uh, a good, fun and working level. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, uh, see if I can actually complete it. I kind of should, uh, seeing as, uh, as I did build it. And you know what? It is really good fun. And oh look, oh, you can go in front of these. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I wish I knew that before, but oh well. <laughs> You're learning new things every day. All right, let's see if I can go and grab that mushroom. It's a bit risky uh, because of those little things there. And oh, look, they seem to throw things in exact straight lines. If I can jump over them. Oh, no, I got hit. I failed my own level, right? Back to the uh, the beginning. I'm going to make sure I can at least uh, complete this once uh, before uh, uh, I hand it over. Uh, I might uh, just skip getting the uh, the mushroom because I really don't need the, uh, the mushroom room and uh, I will get the uh, the flower later on uh, so I just might not worry about that oh but them throwing those things is a little bit dangerous right here's my little smiley face and there are the coins going crazy <laughs> I can now go and uh, throw the uh, the power like that and whoa there's uh, everything getting destroyed and now if I go crazy with the uh, the fire flowers I can charge through and oh no I can't fit through the gap I can't fit through the gap at the end. <laughs> this is why we play test. Right, let's uh, jump back into to this mode. And uh, what happens if we destroy... Uh, tell you what, if I destroy those two blocks and uh, then go and uh, add this other one back here, uh, let me give uh, this a go and uh, see how well this works. So I go and use the uh, the power if I can go and use it. There we go, that's that kicked. And then I can charge down here, take out all of these guys, it's jolly good fun, and then jump out. And I have completed the level! <laughs> right, so coming up now is going to be me playing through a level which Squashy has been making for me! Okay, right, it's time to play Squashy's level. It looks like she's done the, uh, the airship, uh, the same as I did. <laughs> and that was not the, uh, the best of starts. Alright, uh, let's go and uh, have a, another attempt then. Alright, looks like we've got to jump over the piranha plant. One two, three, and oh, okay, there's a mushroom down there, there's also a bunch of flying Goombas as well, looks like Squishy's uh, keeping up with her strategy of having everything having wings, and oh look, there's like um, a weird thing in the background, is that anything I can use, or nope, I think it's just a, a cool thing in the background, right, it looks like we have ourselves a, uh, a bunch of fire, actually, can I pick, the oh look, I can kick the, uh, the spring around, if I kick the, the spring to here, can I then go and uh, try and break these? I think they all only have coins in. I was hoping uh, I'd get something a bit better. Uh, there's a few clouds here. Let's go and uh, try and jump across to these. And this is when it's going to get difficult. No, 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 no. Right, let's go quick, go quick, go quick, go quick, go quick. Oh, jump through. Oh, look at that. Look at that skill. And oh, what does it say? Oh, I think it's going to say cake, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I think it says cake. I don't know. The mushroom, the mushroom, the mushroom, the mushroom. I got it. And oh, no. And I immediately lost it and fell off. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is part of the learning process. This is the part of learning what to do. And no, oh, I think this is supposed to be a cake. Look, this is like the icing. The clouds the icing. And then these are the rather scary cherries. I think that's what this is supposed to be. And let me please get the mushroom before these guys come. There we go. I got the, uh, the mushroom. And let's just get out of here as fast as I can. Right. I want to try and do this really quick. So let's wait uh, for all of the, uh, the fire to, to pass. And then let's go. Right, I've got to wait a little bit longer. And then duck. Oh, no, I got hit. Right, let's run while I'm blinking because I can't be hurt again. And oh, oh look, there's a feather. There's a feather's falling. I think you can use that to, to, to fly, I think, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Right, I'm getting there uh, slowly but surely. I'm getting it a little bit better. I'm doing this bit uh, quicker at least. Uh, let's try and use this Koopa uh, to take care of all of those guys and then jump my way up here. And right, let's keep going. This fire is very, very difficult uh, in order to, to get past. I did a, a nice easy level for Squashy and this is the uh, the way she pays me back. <laughs> right, let's run, 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 run. And uh, let's see if we can go and grab. I think there was a, a mushroom down here. Oh, there was the mushroom. Right, I think I just need to, to survive in that area uh, until I'm able to, to get the mushroom and uh, then I can uh, carry on. This is definitely a lot more difficult difficult uh, than the the past maps right there's the the first mushroom and so my challenge is uh, to get past the uh, the fire without getting destroyed so it's going to be more dangerous now because uh, I've lost the the first mushroom and I know uh, not to get the uh, the first uh, mystery box let's go and try and avoid these I can get down to here no no 
I got hit by the, the piranha plant. I think I need that first mushroom. I think without that first mushroom, I have no chance of, uh, of being able to, to get across. So uh, this is kind of what a lot of these games are like. You don't always succeed first time, uh, but you keep doing it. And each time you go, uh, you kind of learn something new uh, that will help you, uh, you out next time. And I'm not sure what that guy was doing. All right, let's go, go, go. Right, I hit that, but it's okay. I can keep charging right. And I can see the, the mushroom. Rather than going ahead, I'm going to stay in this area uh, until it comes back to me. Let's take out this guy. And there we go. I was able to, to grab the, the mushroom. And oh, it looks like there's all sorts of things in here. And oh, look, there's another mushroom there. I don't actually think I can get any of them uh, just because there's blocks ahead of them. And there's Bowsers. There's two Bowsers going after me. Oh, no, I set them loose. I set the Bowsers loose. Let's keep going. Luckily, there are mushrooms everywhere. I got fr I'm frozen. I got frozen. Right, let's keep going. I think this is the end of the level. And I did it. <laughs> I got to the end of the level. And I think those are supposed to be more cakes. That's what I think they're supposed to be. A bunch of cakes with icing on the whole way through. I like that. I like that level. It was very difficult, but it had lots of cakes in, so I'm happy. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. Uh, oh, oh yeah, look. Look at the bottom of the screen. You can see uh, how much it all looks like cakes there when you can see the uh, the whole view. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see Squishy playing my map or her building this map, uh, you can see a link to her video in the uh, the description. Uh, but apart from that, uh, we'll be uh, yeah we'll be doing more Mario Maker videos soon. So I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!